devaluation of fixed asset. <coughs> we'll now move on to consider the effect of revaluations. The effect of revaluation. So, what is revaluation? No. We revalue, value again an asset. So, suppose we have a building with an initial cost of maybe only 5 lakhs. But today if we look at the value of this building, maybe it is worth more than 50 lakhs. We could in that case revalue the building, assign a value of 50 lakhs to this particular building. If we do that, let us just consider what could be the effect of such revaluations. Of course, revaluation may be upward or downward, that is, the value of the asset may increase or it may also decrease. We feel the book value of an asset is too high and we may want to revalue it to a lower figure too. However, we will first discuss an upward revaluation, valuing an asset again. What happens in case of upward revaluation of an asset, since the value of the asset needs to be increased, we debit asset account and we credit a revaluation reserve. It is not taken to profit and loss account. If we were, for example, in this particular example, if we were going to increase the value of our building to 50 lakhs, increase it by 45 lakhs, it would not be correct to take this 45 lakhs to a profit and loss account. That would show a wrong picture of the profits. It is instead kept in a revaluation reserve. It is a part of the reserves, a part of the equity. In case for some reason, if there is a subsequent downward revaluation, say for example, in this particular case, after having said asset account debit to revaluation reserve 45 lakh, so that the value of the building is now totally 50 lakhs. If suppose after a year or two, for some reason, we find that the value of the asset is only 40 lakhs. It means we need to bring down the value of this asset from 50 lakhs to 10 lakhs. To 40 lakhs, we need to bring down the value of this asset by 10 lakhs. Since there already exists a revaluation reserve with respect to this asset, when there is a downward revaluation, we will credit the asset and we will debit a revaluation reserve up to the amount of upward revision. That means we could debit revaluation reserve in our example up to an amount of 45 lakhs. In this case, if the downward revaluation is only 10 lakhs, we say revaluation reserve upon debit to asset 10 lakhs. If, however, the revaluation was for more than 45 lakhs, then we would take revaluation reserve would be debited for the amount of 45 lakhs and for the remaining amount, we would debit the profit and loss account. Therefore, in case of an upward revaluation of reserve, the entry is to debit asset and credit revaluation reserve. In case of subsequent downward revaluation, we debit the revaluation reserve and credit asset provided the there is sufficient revaluation reserve to take care of the downward revaluation. If not, the balance amount is debited to profit and loss account. In case there is an upward revaluation, after a downward revaluation, then also asset account is debited, profit and loss account is credited with the earlier downfall <coughs> and revaluation reserve for any balance if required. That means there was initially, initially there was first a downward revaluation. So if there has been a downward revaluation of the asset. Asset account was credited, but profit and loss account would be debited. Let us say the value of an asset has come down from 10 lakhs to 8 lakhs. So profit and loss account has been debited and asset credited for 
by two months. In case there is an upward revaluation thereafter by let us say three lakhs, by another three lakh, so that today the value of the asset is now eleven lakh, then our accounting entry would be. We would debit the asset account by three lakh because we need to increase the value by three lakh. We would credit profit and loss account with two lakhs and revaluation reserve with only one lakh because this revaluation is after a previous downward revaluation. That is also considered what happens in case of a downward revaluation. In case of a downward revaluation of an asset, profit and loss account debit, the asset account is the entry. So if there is an upward revaluation, it is credited to revaluation reserve, but a downward revaluation is normally charged to the profit and loss account. However, if there is a subsequent upward revaluation, then asset account is debited, profit and loss account credited with the earlier downfall and revaluation reserve with the balance of it. Therefore, an upward revaluation of an asset, asset account debit to revaluation reserve. After an upward revaluation, if there is a subsequent downward revaluation, then we debit the revaluation reserve account and credit the asset account to the extent that the revaluation reserve exists. However, if there is not enough revaluation reserve, then we take the balance amount from profit and loss account. So, upward revision, asset to revaluation reserve. Downward revision is profit and loss account debit to asset account. Only after having done this, after a downward revaluation, if there is a subsequent upward revaluation, then it is asset account is debited to increase the value. Profit and loss account is credited to the extent of the amount that was previously undervalued, previously short, the shortfall, previous downward revaluation and the balance amount is credited to the revaluation 